And then the other one was Colt Cabana. And uh, yesterday I said on the show that I heard from several people that they were going to do something on Dynamite that was going to have everybody talking. And I'm pretty sure that it was a reference to Colt Cabana being Chris Jericho's opponent. And didn't actually see too many people really talking about it. Except in the company, they were all talking about it. And uh, all I know is this. All I know is this. CM Punk got hired. Colt Cabana had been a regular. CM Punk was there for a little while, and then Colt Cabana vanished. And then, I don't know, whatever, March, April or whatever, the uh, the rumors started to come out that CM Punk had gotten Colt Cabana fired. And it was never it was never addressed. I mean, there were rumors out there, but nobody ever said anything about it. And uh, And then CM Punk ended up going on the uh, all-out press conference, and that was the crux. Actually, it was long before that. It was a Hangman promo. When Hangman made a comment about, you know, whatever he said, like, you know, you, you act like a nice guy on screen, but you're definitely not in the back. And that, of course, was a reference to these, these Colt Cabana rumors. And this made CM Punk very angry. And CM Punk did tell people within the company that he was not responsible. And he insists that he was not responsible. And for whatever it's worth, virtually everybody in the company believes that he was, in fact, responsible. But that was the, that was the crux of everything. That's a, that was, he, he stewed on that for months when he was hurt. And then he has his first uh, big pay-per-view match back. He goes to that press conference, and he just unleashed all about Colt Cabana. And this led to the big fight. This led to the suspensions. And this led to what happened yesterday. Well, what happened yesterday? Well, what happened was the uh, investigation wrapped up. The Young Bucks are back, and Kenny Omega is back, and Colt Cabana's best friend was fired, and Colt Cabana is now back on Dynamite. And I don't know, I do not know if CM Punk got Colt Cabana fired or not. But what I do know is if you follow this story, and you watched the show last night, your presumption would be that he got him fired. Because now he's gone, and the first thing that happens is Colt Cabana comes back, and he is wrestling on Dynamite. And certainly there were people that work for AEW that believe that that's exactly what happened last night. That was, uh, that was the indication that, in fact, CM Punk had gotten him removed from Dynamite. But at the end of the day, the way it was described to me was it was actually a show of solidarity to get Colt Cabana on the show, give him a big match, uh, get him out there in front of the fans, ROH championship match. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how often he's under a Ring of Honor contract right now, so I don't know how often he'll be on Dynamite. But he is no longer not on Dynamite. So that's the story. Well, you can't say that nobody talked about it. Tony Khan talked about it. Tony Khan was responding to people speaking about CM Punk being blamed for removing Cole Cabana or getting him fired or whatever it was. And he's the one who said that it didn't have anything to do with Colt or with CM Punk. I mean, he said that publicly, he said it in the media that he, that they, all these ROH contracts were coming due and he gave him a similar contract to do different work and that he didn't think that that was fair to Punk. That's what Tony Khan said about that. And that was, that may have been in the week that led up to All Out. <laughs> so it probably did get forgotten about with everything else that ended up happening that weekend. But that's what he had claimed. And there were people, you know, who were more partial to Punk's side that could not figure out since not only Tony Khan said that, but because he had, I guess, apparently said it in passing or at least in, in, in privacy, that that was not the case. And there were people then that were wondering, then what's the issue then? Because Cabana was not on AEW's main TV and Punk did sign there. What was it? October uh, two years ago, I, I believe it was. And Punk wasn't, you were in Cabana wasn't used all that much. So, Tony Khan did talk about this, and he said that Punk didn't have anything to do with it. Whether he was trying to protect Punk at the time, whether he was just outright lying, whatever the reason was, he did actually address this and say that it wasn't Punk's issue. So by bringing him back last night, 
I mean, yeah, they are certainly framing it in, in a completely different way. Trent came out, tweeted about it, said in all caps that it was for the boys. And obviously it was a show of solidarity, but there's obviously some chasm in what the truth is when it comes to what was actually going on and, and what the deal was with Cole Cabana, because now we're hearing two completely different things. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so like I was chopping the tree and uh, I just remember looking up and all of a sudden, like this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. And all of a sudden I was like, I woke up later. <laughs> this is the weird thing he says. Yeah. It is. Well, it, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.